No, weird scroll face. Okay. It's Friday. What does that mean? It's time for a finished abject Friday. Yay! For once. Like, really. It's something I finished this week even. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um... All right, so, for those of you who are new, I'm Aradia Noari, I'm the resident witch and creatrix over at Aradia's Hand and Danaeus Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. So, on Fridays, I like to do a little thing called Finish Object Friday. Um, when, of course, I have either finished something that week, or I have something that I finished that I hadn't gotten a chance to share. Um, usually, you know, if I can plan it, I try to, but... This is the thing about labor intensive work is sometimes it takes weeks to finish, hours to finish, days to finish, months to finish. Um, and so I don't always have something to finish. And I've, I've gotten a backlog before, but again, even that doesn't always last. So that's the thing. But it just so happens I had something to finish. I'm not completely finished with it. I finished two sections. We're going to call it good enough. So the whole thing with Finish Object Friday is among the fiber community, it's really common um, to use that kind of tag idea. Um, one, because alliteration is great, uh, clearly. But also because, you know, obviously we want to see it finished. You've been talking about the thing that you've been working on. You've showed us the inspiration. You've shared the materials. You've showed us the progress. Well, we want to see it done because... You know, sometimes it's really it's really hard to see or imagine what something's going to look like. And then it's not always easy to put things into words. And um, for uh, the sighted people, folks, um, you know, having a visual just kind of just makes it easier, right? You know, the whole picture is worth a thousand words, kind of blah, blah, blah. So, without further ado, we're going to do that. But first! But first, I like to do a little check-in or review. Review. Check-in this Wednesday. Review of the intentions I set up. And I added this onto my Fridays because on Mondays we talk about motivation. And I'm, all, I'm not always motivated. So regardless of motivation, I still have intentions. still have things I'd like to do. Uh, Wednesday we talk about our work in progress and what's up. We also like to do a little check-in for the intentions that we set on Monday. And on Friday we like to do a little review. And part of why I added that in is a lot of people have problems with planning, right? Um, they mean to, they don't plan, they don't plan well, um, they plan in ways that are ineffective. Um, this is all very common. Another common thing that happens is people will not check in. They won't review, they won't look back, they won't evaluate. And so, you know, you can't build a better mousetrap if you just keep like ignoring the results you get. And so it's really, really important um, to kind of review. And that, that's kind of like a, a finished thing, right? Yeah. So, so first we're going to do that. Let's see. Notes. <sighs> Notes and goats. I kind of wish I had a goat. Um, I mean, I, I don't want the vet bill of having a goat, but I mean, I would be sitting there talking to the goat like all day. I'd be like, <sighs> I don't know, goat free. Goat free, like Jeffrey, goat free. I don't know. Godfrey, Godfrey, Godfrey goat. Goddard, Goddard goat. Goatson. I don't know. Son of a goat! Right? That's how that works. Goat of itch! Okay, stop. 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 You're being weird. Um, their eyes, they're like square pupils, though, kind of freak me out a little bit. Because they're just, I just look at them just like. Waiting for their pupils to like change to like round or like an oval shape or some other shape, and I'm like, no, nope, they're not gonna. They're like square and shit. Um, kind of gives them this ugh, bored look too, right? Yeah. If you'd like to, I I, I highly recommend you go find some, go find a go find a goat eye to look at. Yeah, that's because, you know, nightmares. Sure, sure. I don't know. It's, are you like freaked out by stuff like that? I mean, I'm not. I'm strangely enthralled. Um, we're doing a thing. Let's see if I can find a picture. If I can find a good picture, I'm going to put one below. I see. Oh, that's a good picture of a goat. It's a terrible picture of the goat's eye, though. 
There's this goat called the Hebridean goat. It's like a black goat with four, and that breed has a mutation where some of them have four horns. So it's like best goat. Best goat is best. Look in, look in. I'm looking for one where the whole rectangle thing is like really obvious. Uh, this might work. There you go. Maybe. Okay, whatever. Just, just scroll below and you'll see. Possibly. Maybe. Likely. Oh, it's putting on my notes. Goat eye! What? <sighs> I have a save because if you don't save, then ow! The computer eats it sometimes. So, alright. We gotta, we gotta move this along. Alright, so, um, congratulations! We've made progress. It's done pretty good this week. Um, so earlier I said um, that I wanted to catch my planner up. I've been needed to catch it up through February and then from January into February. And that took me literally hours, hours and days of doing it. Um, mostly because I'm really, really, really particular about how I do things. Um, it would give me the vapors if I just kind of wing it. So I can't. And it's, I don't need, I don't need that stress. I've got enough stress. I don't need additional stress by just trying to do things in a way that don't work for me, which is that, that is the thing. I am pro doing shit that works for you. And if that means it takes longer or if that means it's complicated or that means you do things in a funky, weird, specific way, fucking go for it. Why? Because there's no reason <laughs> to use somebody else's process. Um, Especially because, you know, measuring by, like, somebody else's yardstick, it doesn't really work. And you're always, you're always going to fall short. Um, and, you know, you don't know why something works for someone. You don't know whether it actually does, you know. We, we, we like to talk about things. <sighs> Those are what I want to use. Um, kind, of, kind of in a vacuum. But that but things don't invest, exist in a vacuum. So if you just make this assumption that like this works or this is how things are or this is the whole story, then you, you're really, really missing out because first of all, who the fuck cares what works for somebody else? Do what works for you, right? Do you. I am team do you all day, every day. Fuck everything else. Mostly because, you know, you, you're weird, wild, and wonderful. So why not embrace that? I'm weird one. I, at least I am. Emphasis on the weird. Wild, maybe, maybe not so much. Why does it sound so windy outside? I think it's windy outside. <sighs> Yay! Yay! Dee dee! Yay! Dee 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 dee! So, uh, my planner's caught up, and I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what to do with myself. I have been so behind consistently. Like, I'll get caught up for a day, and then I'll miss a day, and then I'll be back to... And then the day turns into, like, three days, turns into a week, turns into a couple of weeks. How is it six months since I've updated something? I don't know. Don't know how it happened. So I don't know what to do with myself. It's really strange when I open my planner, and it's like, hey, this is today. This is current. This is the stuff that you have to work on. Guess what you get to do? You actually get to do work. Okay, cool. Yay! So, it's been a little weird on my brain to actually be able to do this stuff. And I've got my glasses on. This whole glare thing is, like, fucking distracting me. I like my glasses, though. They're just pretty, like, weird tortoiseshell purple. <sighs> I really need to get new lenses for my red ones, though, because they really, I, they, they grew in me. And they were kind of loud. And I'm definitely kind of loud. So it was just, it was a good match. Um, the purple ones are a little more low-key, I feel. They're also smaller. <sighs> so yay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh! Okay, so I've done a little project time. Um, I've been flitting between a couple of projects. I mentioned that on Wednesday. So I've got five projects pretty much always, all the time. <sighs> and my... Project hurts like over there, and I'm not gonna go get it because I don't feel like it. But um, I like to have options, mostly because the reality is it reality is I. So this is something about me, and you know, take t take heart and and make note of this. If a lot of people like to do like one project at a time, and say you start it and you finish it. I can't do that. I get so 
interminably bored that I don't want to work on it anymore. And it, it's, and it's, sometimes it means I've run out of materials. <coughs> Morning blues shawl. <coughs> I just I had to hibernate that. Very upset about that. Thought to myself, hey, you can go buy um, materials. And I'm like, hey, no, you can't because they don't have it in the store anymore. I'm like, son of a bitch. Yeah, I've got like six more stains I'd buy. And it's, it's like $8 yarn. So it's a, it's a shiny penny. And I think I bought like six, five or six skates to begin with. And I need as many. Yeah, as many left. Don't randomly substitute yarn. Okay, don't do it. It's a trap. I like to do it because I like to live dangerously and make poor choices. Um, fun results. Or at least unexpected ones that you couldn't predict. I mean, maybe you could have predicted them if you thought about it. I choose to just wing it sometimes. Every now and then. Not often. So, I like to have variety. Uh, I'll run out of materials. I'll heat a snack. I'll just get bored with something. Or you know some things don't travel well so like my socks i always have a pair of socks going mostly because right now currently um socks are still just for me i'm working on tailoring my tailoring skills which is why they're just for me as soon as i master my tailoring then i will do up a sample for somebody with all with also like all the things that i need to know um so that i can God, that's going to be so much. These things are going to be so fucking extra. But if I can get it down, which I'm determined to get it down, they're going to be fucking amazing. Like, whoa! So that's cool. Um, but, you know, there's things that don't travel well. So, like, beading, jewelry. Mm -mm. No, that's at home, strictly. I won't even go somewhere else where I'm going to be for a while and work on that. That needs to strictly does not leave my house. Because beads bounce. Yeah. And I hate counting beads. I mean, I do, but I just, I don't want to count. And if they're seed beads, like the little teeny motherfuckers, oh, they're like about yay big. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. I don't even want to count the seed beads that are about this big. <laughs> like, just no. No, I'd rather not. I don't want to count pony beads, okay? Those things are fat. Plastic. And have like a cut end on either side where the hole is. So they don't, they, they can, they do bounce though, like amazingly so, but they can also like roll and they can technically come to a stop. Technically. Anyway. Bead chips aren't as bad about the bouncing, but then, you know, they're weird shapes and stuff. And sometimes they're broken. Sometimes the hole is like too close to the edge of the stone. So there's that. <sighs> um... But anyway, I need, I need variety. I just, my brain gets bored. And when my brain is bored, everything is like slogging through quicksand. And look, my work is already labor intensive enough. I don't need to make it take any longer. And I've actually like done taken steps to actually make it take longer by uh, rearranging how I take, uh, how I document my work, which I'm actually not like upset about that. It's just like, damn it. Why did you have to make this complicated? Because I make everything complicated. Because I just can't do things. I have to like be extra about everything. But that's, that's part of my charm. Extra. As you're going to see in my finished object when I show it to you. This video is going to be a little longer than normal. I'm in a little rambly. I'm actually in an okay mood today. Which is amazing. Usually I'm meh. Meh. So... Uh, I've been working on projects, mostly, uh, the idling bag. That was like all Tuesday. I worked on that a bunch. Mm, and then like idly here and there. And then we've got, yeah, we've got my socks that I've been working on idly as well. And then the uh, project time yesterday was the shawl. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I don't feel like putting extra pictures in this. I'm just going to like link you over to Wednesday's post and Thursday's post. Mostly because I feel like I've been just using the same pictures over and over again. And it's like one more thing to do to put the pictures up. And that's, and, and that review is like, that's like the focus is the finished object. So we want to focus on that. So let's make a little note. 
Okay, so Wednesday post. See what else I've been working on. And then Thursday post. I have a little story to tell you real quick about that. Um, so, uh, I was actually falling asleep while I was doing Thursday's video. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I was really tired. And so I was not moving in a consistently even fashion. I did get to, uh, to the end of the row though. I did one and a half rows or like one and some change really. Um, that's what happens when the damn row's 300 stitches long. I'm going to bitch about that, like, the whole time I'm making this. So, yeah, there you go. Um, oh, I also finally got to the pricing stuff. I meant to do it Monday. Monday kind of went out the window. Wednesday, I went to start, and something else, I had to do something else. Um, I got sidetracked by something that was adjacent that also needed to be done. And so I didn't didn't really do much in the way. However, I did some this morning. It's my notes. It's my notes. Yeah. So yeah, that's the that's the first part of what I'm working on right now with the pricing is updating all of the project sheets, making sure that all of the notes are there and everything is up to date because I mean some of my notes look messy as hell. Let's see if I, I got one I got one here that's really messy so I can show you so you know what I'm talking about. That's it. Oh yeah. All right, that's just that's a mess. There's, there's a lot going on there, um, but a lot of my notes look like that. Or there's there's a bits here, there's bits here, there's bits there. There's a scrap of paper. There's this, that, and the other. And so, uh, I want it to be cohesive and like in one place. So much easier to like reference things that are legible and like not spread out. Um, and I've got I, I want a uniformity to it. So that's that's where that is right now. But. But without further ado, so what did I finish? Um, I did not finish all of my mending. So these are my going out pants. That's my, my best friend has um, she's named them that because uh, whenever I leave the house, like I'm gonna, gonna go somewhere that's not like strictly an errand or like in and out. Like if I'm gonna go out or whatever, um, it's usually what I'm wearing. So it's it's kind of an inside joke. But, one, it's because it's the only pair of pants that I have that are, like, pants pants. Like, I have workout pants on right now. Um, and I have a bunch of PJ pants. But they're either thin or just, you know. I, I don't really give a shit about the whole socially appropriate public attire. Like, if you want to rock out in your jammies, like, fucking go for it. Um, and my jammies are actually rather sedate. Like, it's a pair of plaid pants and a t-shirt that has, like, a whole lot of stretchy in it. Like, it's a blend. It was an accident, actually, which is why it became a pajama shirt. Um, and then it met a crayon in the dryer. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So, um, I've got, I think, let's count. One, two, three. Okay. Four, five, six. Is that it? Seven, eight. Huh. I thought there were ten. Okay, there's eight. There are eight men's. Eight that I have to do. Oh. Nine. I guess you could debate that it's ten. Yeah, it was ten. Okay, it was ten. It was ten. What one of the men is like really big, so there's like a whole hoop here, there's like a hole over there, there's like a hole over there, so that's like several men's in one giant men. Um but I finished. Two of them. Um, these, these are the, I think these are the most recent holes. Yeah. And because of where they are, they're on the, they're right at the, the top of the waistband of the belt loop area. Putting them off was not working. And so I finally, finally got them. So first of all, first of all, if you want to see like a clear static picture, scroll to the post below. Um, I'll have pictures of the mending and the goat eye, um, there for your viewing pleasure. If for some reason you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a link at the very top of the description. It's going to send your ass over to Patreon where you can check out the pictures. Whoop, whoop. 
because I mean, I took the time, like, I, t I went out and, like, took pictures today, like, fresh, in the in the daylight, in good lighting. So, first mint. This is the first one. So, it, we're calling this Rainbow Atari. Um, I think I might have talked about this on Instagram. Yeah, and I think I think the post is, is linked there. I don't know. It probably is. But, yeah, so, this is what happened. I'm gonna, we're going to draw a line of where we started. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Anyway, it went all over the place. So I kept going until I hit a line, and then I went somewhere else. Oh, I see. There we go. Right here. Boop. Doop. 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 Hmm. Mm. Oh, no. Here it is. Okay, I found it. Do, 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 do. Ha! So, um, I feel like I'm not old enough to have played Atari. Um, I've never, like, seen one in person. Like, I've, I've seen this fabled contraption, like, on the internet in pictures and, and stuff. But, um, that was it. I think, I can, is, it, is the game called Pong? Is that what it is? I don't know. Let's look. Okay. Yes? Yes! Yes, I got it right. Oh! Fucking... Pop culture reference for the win. Yeah, I'm full of those. Even ones that I shouldn't know anything. Like Mr. Bill. I don't know who Mr. Bill is. I never watched it. I have a magnet on my fridge. It says, oh no. And then I learned like later that I was like, oh, it's kind of terrible. So yeah. Um, it's it's kind of very, it's a very Pong kind of thing. Um, and it's really funny. As I was working on it, I kept hearing that that little chime in my head every time I got to the end. Because I'm a fucking weirdo, friends. So weird. Like, anyway, also, we're ganging up the place, right? You see this? Look at all that rainbow goodness. Um, I decided that I want to do this partially because I need to de-stash. So let's see. Let's see if I can not make a mess. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't mind me while it's not shit over. So this is a, we talked about this. I think, uh, I think I've done a stash cast and if I have, I'll link it below. If I haven't, disregard. I'll just put it on my schedule. But this is, this is we gotta, we're still gonna do this without dumping the contents of this bin everywhere. This is not even that much, that it really is not that much thread. That's actually like a really sedate amount of thread. But I'm not... I'm not about that having stuff to just have it life. Like I have stuff because it's useful, because I'm gonna use it, and because I need it for a specific purpose, not like, look, there's no shame. If you like pretty things and you just want to own pretty things, to own them, I fully support that shit. Go for it. That's not me. It it makes me like claustrophobic and irritate. It irritates my delicate sensibilities. So, um, although when it comes to sock yarn, like all bets are off, I will totally own some sock yarn just cause it's pretty. I will in fact make it into socks like that will happen. I just, you know, and also, <laughs> so yeah, gang up the place. Um, and yeah, yeah. So this, this was, uh, oh God, this was several hours of work. So just, just a thing. And I've, on the Instagram post that I've linked below in the description, I talk about that a little bit. Like, you know, the thing about mending is that it, you see people talk about mending and with the rise of like the reuse and the upcycle and the recycle and people becoming more conscious of the fashion industry and the ecological impact of all of these things, um, as well as, you know, the realities of the fashion world that, you know, nothing fits. And um, we're going to have to go on a rant. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do like a whole video rant about this just like everything you didn't realize you wanted to know about the fashion world um that I've learned uh because I work in textiles <laughs> and so I you know you, you come to learn these things and the funny thing is, is I have a long history in textiles like since I was knee high to a fucking grasshopper uh yeah and all of the stuff that I know about the textile world like I'm like yeah duh and everybody else is like 
didn't know that. I'm like, what do you mean you didn't know that? And I was like, oh, yeah. No, you were raised around this shit, so of course you fucking know. Like, who, like who the fuck knows about smocking, okay? Who my age knows what the hell smocking is? One of us has seen a smocking machine. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Nobody! Nobody fucking does that. Or drape lace. Nobody does that. Nobody do Nobody. I mean, really. Honestly. Except for me. My obscure ass. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get down with drape lace, though. Um, I've seen what it looks like when you're starting off. And, oh, God. It's like, what is this shit? But, now that I say that, if I do get into clay and ceramics, which I would love to, but I think that's outside of my wheelhouse, um... I would be down for some drape lace. Mostly because <sighs> lace is very extra, right? It is very extra. And I love extra. Leo Mercury and my ascendant. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We'll blame that on my ability to perform despite the fact that I do not like attention being placed on me at all. I had a whole conversation about that this week. With another artist, I think, yeah? Yeah, was that you? Was that, was that you, was that, was that you, Robot? I think that was you, Robot Sarah. <sighs> Shout out to Robot Sarah, who is amazing and awesome, and I'll link her Instagram below so you can bask in her majesty of talent and awesome. What did I say I was going to do? Also, hmm, whoa, so many notes, so many notes, uh, Okay, yay, yeah, 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 color robot Sarah. Because of stuff and things. That's irrelevant. It's like me being a nerd. Anyway, finish number two. And usually when I do finish stuff, I try to keep it to one. But this is all in the same projects. So whatever. Bam! It's like a triangle. It's not a triangle, it's a fucking trapezoid. I wanted it to be a triangle. But I ran out of colors. So, here's a fun thing about we're gonna we're gonna zoom in. We got red and then transition and then an orange and then transition. This one's hard to see because first of all the the this is all variegated thread, right? So yeah. Yellow, transition, green, transition, blue, transition, purple. Lavender. Yeah, so hooray! And then of course it's all offset. These are my first plus signs. Um, right, and then of course, then it looks like this on the inside, which is actually really pretty. I like that. So, uh, marking up the place. Yeah, this was uh, last night at knit night. Um, generally, you know, you knit, but you do fucking whatever. But I, I need these pants. And there's a mending event. Uh, there's a local mender that I will link as well. Let's see. Top stitch mending. Okay, um, this is local mending, and their 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 business worky worky do um, is turning two years old. And I think I'm gonna venture out into the wilds and the public with the other humans. And what better thing to wear than this? Also, I'm probably gonna wear my linen dress. Because I made it, it also, it needs some mending. I think I'm going to mend it, probably with some of the stuff. Um, I'm also going to make that dress pretty gray, pretty gay. Um, I think I'm going to do some woven stuff, though. Yeah. Um, because the, the weave of that fabric is really funky, and it's, it's one of those things that... Uh, if I had thought about what I was doing and known anything about fabric and really like thought about it and like, met the fabric in person and been able to inspect it and was familiar with what I was going to use it for, I would not have chosen this fabric. Now, I'm glad I chose this fabric because it's pretty and it's linen, so it's amazing. And I got it on sale, which is fucking better because let me tell you, linen's like easily $30 a yard. And I didn't need that many yards, but I got it, like, closer to $10 or less a yard, which I know. That probably, if you're familiar with, like, 
quilters cotton and stuff like that that seems like so much but it's linen it's linen linen is majesty incarnate it's wonderful your wrinkles like a motherfucker though which is fine wrinkles are like character that's cool so ta -da! Ba bam oh and this is the this is the next mend the crotch <laughs> My, the crotch of my pants has got, like, so much going on. My, uh, my jeans are not about that thick thigh life. Honestly, neither am I, but, like, <laughs> I don't have a choice in the matter, so, guess we're gonna have to make this shit work. So, yeah. Um, so two parts of, like, ten mendings. Um, the rest of it, though, is really, so, like, so, I, the rest of, since we're looking at it, we'll just, like, look. So we've got, like, a, there's a hole here, right? This is, this is fairly little. And I've marked everything with a little gold safety pin. Um, there's this. This is actually part of the crotch. This, so that's a huge mend. There we go. There's another, another little, little, little one right there. You know, not very big. Um, and then there's another one that's growing. Um, this right here is my first mend. You can tell because the, it's got that boring ass white stitching. I don't. This is the white is much, a uh, much more traditional version of Sashiko. I don't like it though because it the contrast, but you know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna undo it. We're gonna these things are gonna turn into boro real 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 quick. Um, because I'm just going I've until they cannot fit anymore, I'm gonna mend the shit out of these. Cause make do and mend, right? That's that's what they say. So, uh I'm super excited to be back to mending. I'm also remembering why I stopped mending. And I stopped mending, not like stopped mending period and decided to, I'm just gonna buy clothes now. Um, I took a break from this project because mending doesn't stop. Like the only way for mending stop to stop, okay, would be for you to discard the clothing or mend it, fix it once and then never wear it again. Which again, that my utilitarian nature does not does not tolerate that um so I'm, I'm i'm glad to be back at it and i'm glad with the result that is going to happen i finished this mending i'm gonna be able to wear my pants and you know these things are a conversation piece like this is this is like i also i don't know i feel like these are a really good estimation of me right <laughs> they are stitched together with good intentions Far from perfect. Definitely not boring, though. Although I think I'm really fucking boring. Other people think I'm interesting, and I'm just like, what is the metric that you're using, friend? I am dull as fuck. Um, I'm a character, though. I mean, that's really what they mean. It's like, I'm not... I am not devoid of... Uh, pizzazz. Whatever. I am... What's this in my... Oh butterfly hairpin. I was like, what the hell's in my pocket? So that's, that's gay up my pants. Cause, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm not so sorry. This video is going to be longer. It was supposed to be 15 minutes. I'm just got too much stuff going on. Too many marbles rolling around my head. Um, that's okay. I gotta go soon too. Like, like two minutes ago. Should have gone. It's okay. Uh, da, 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 da. we're wrapping this up, but you know, uh, I'll be able to wear my pants. We're going to de-stash the thread. Uh, I get to practice more mending. So that's the, that, that would be the good thing about mending is you get to try new techniques over and over again. You get to decide what you like, what you don't like. Because uh, there's a lot of ways to bend. There's a lot of stitches that involve, you know, involve you. There's weaving. Um, there's, you know, machine darning. There's sashiko. Uh, there's kanta. Uh, boro, which is... <sighs> sashiko is the stitching. Uh, I can't say the other word. I just loaded it. It's, I think it's R A N R U. Ran, 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 ran. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, that's the patching. And like boro is, if you look up boro, you're going to find things that have been extensively patched, like extensively. Um, these pants are, <laughs> they're getting there. It's like, but it's layers upon layers upon layers. And a lot of it is the patches are on top and you stitch over them and you see a lot of raw edge. So if this was patched in that style, more like it, you, this right here would be out here. 
and so you would see all of these raw edges and everything. Um, actually, I don't think I have anything that is like, oh no, I do I have one. This one. But that's because this fabric is super cool. It's the, it's got the salvage edge and it's a, it's, it looks like a yarn woven fabric, which means you, um, you wove two different colors, warp and weft together, um, and it created this other color. This is a really good example of that. So that looks orange, right? That's not orange. That is in fact pink and yellow. And so blended together, it looks orange. Because color is fun! Yay! Yay so much. Um, I'm also just glad to make progress on things. Um, I'm probably going to finish these before I finish anything else. I like to finch stuff because I do. Because then I can like do stuff with it, like use it and shit. Ooh. So, 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 so. All right, I gotta wrap this up. We're done. We're done. Um, my question for you today is what have you finished this week and how do you feel about it? You can share in the comments below, whether you're on YouTube or Patreon, either way. I always look at my comments and, you know, respond when like relevant and necessary. Uh, you can also scroll into the picture below or the post below and see the static pictures of my mending as well as all of the and the goat eye and all of the links that i've mentioned to um the wednesday thursday post uh my stash cast of embroidery if i can find it um sarah marie lacy over on instagram who is a very talented portrait artist who lives in the canada um and it's like my famous art friends as well as top stitch mending which is located here in richmond um and that's lisa hutchinson and then my three mending posts that I've recently made, like in the last like week and a half on my Instagram. So you'll see directly what I'm talking about. But things end. So, of course, if you would like to comment, questions, concerned, you know, comments and questions. This is my favorite patch right here. I love this one because it's a circle and it's got a compass rose in it. Um, it's near my pocket. So I like regularly get reminded that that's there. Um, I have this little kind of ombre thing going on. It's not quite well, well thought out, but like I ran out of thread. So I was just like, uh, I guess we're using this color now. Anyway. Um, I have any questions about this. About anything I've talked about. Planning, catching up, how I plan, mending, my whole process. Pop it in the comments below. Be glad to address it. Whatever. Talk to you about it. Hash it out. Hash brown. Hash brown it out. Mmm. Hash brown. Nom, 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 nom. Potatoes. So, yeah. As always, you can find me at A Radius Hand and Nays Divine. Websites linked below in the description box. As well as all of my active social media, which is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Which is where I like to hang out entirely too much. <laughs> Damn search function. Don't do that. Don't ever go to the search function on Instagram. It's a trap. It's like a Pinterest hole. But better. Because you can actually kind of get out of it. Pinterest, you can't get out of Pinterest. Pinterest is like a black hole. <sighs> Instagram is more like quicksand. Like, eventually it would stop. You know. And if you, like, don't struggle, you could, like, totally get out of it. <laughs> anyway... Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for subscribing to my channel, liking this video, share it with people and all that. And Hey, again, if you want to see the pictures and like the full unabridged post, you should go over to Patreon. This is a public post, so you'll be able to see everything. Um, do, 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 do. If you're on Patreon, thank you for being a patron. Thank you for following me. Thank you for being there. Um, remember everybody, all of my public posts, share them. Share them with people who will find my weird ass entertaining. Um, share them with people who are interested in art, trinity, inspiration, symbol, meaning, all of that good stuff. Because uh, that's what I like. That's what we like to talk about over here. So, do 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 do. All right, you say to the end of the video, "What is your reward?" You say, "I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do tomorrow." Well, tomorrow is a is a Kalins. Yeah, is it? Is it? No, it's not. Oh, sugar. No, it's not. It's the last day. It's a fucking leap year. That's right. That's what's going on. It's actually a Bujo setup. So, um, I did a Bujo post for January into February. 
I may have done one in for December to January. I should have. Don't know that I did. Because that's the last post of the month. I don't have any of the pictures up for the bujo, <laughs> the bujo setup um, for January into February. So I'm going to, one, try to rectify that, by the way. If you're, uh, if you're a patron, you'll get a notification when I fix it, if I ever fix it. I do intend to fix it. I do. I just haven't yet. But um, I'm going to be doing my Bujo setup, which is probably what I'm going to do late this evening. So I can take all the pictures I need to first thing tomorrow during the daylight. Because I'm not going to be... I'm a busy day for the rest of the day. I'm not going to have time. Anyway, I really got to get out of here. Um, yeah, Bujo setup. That's it. So you get to, you get to peek in my planner, see how I set things up. Uh, we're going to talk about the, my whole process and I ch I've changed it. So if you've been here for the long haul, you know that I used to like set it up live. Now what I try to do is have everything set up already so I can just flip through. It makes the video shorter. Um, and then it, <sighs> It means that like I've already had to set everything up, which requires me to be like ready. So, 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 so. Anyway, we're gonna try and do that. That's it. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I've gotta go. I gotta go fetch the munchkin. Retrieve the tiny human. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my community. Ah, yeah. Okay, so I said I was gonna do a poll just real quick. Yeah, I changed my mind as I want to do, uh, you, you are my little spiders. Sorry. Cause I've got this thing. So we see the thread. So we see, do we see the bones and the coffee cup and the thing that looks like a sea urchin? Yeah. Uh, that's a candle. It's super nice candle too. It smells lovely, which is funny. Cause I hate scented candles like a lot. Um, well, my little spiderlings, that is going to be my fiber art textile goddess altar. Which is why there's like string on the back and buttons behind it, actually. Um, I'm still looking for a bunch of statuary that I feel suited. A lot of the a lot of the weaver textile clothing deities happen to be fates. And I'm sure I can find maybe a thing of the fates. But finding um, the Norns is going to be a little more difficult. And finding one of Athena that's not her in battle gear is going to be almost impossible. So we might go with Brigitte because I'm also Irish anyway. So there's that. All right. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go. But that space is going to change. So be on the lookout. Okay. Toodles.